Hello and welcome back to the Books Are Everywhere. So today I am here with my very first unboxing video. We have this massive box to unwrap. I've been saving this for a couple of days just to especially unwrap it on video for you. I'm super super excited to unbox this. I know what's inside. I've been waiting for it for a while. I ordered this back in November and I can't wait to talk to you guys about it. So yeah, let's get started. I um, first of all would just like to apologise for um, if you can hear anything in the background because somebody outside is cutting down a hedge or trimming the garden or whatever they're doing. So um, I do apologise if that does pick up on the mic because um, it is quite loud. But yeah, let's get straight into this. I'm not going to tell you what it is right now. I'm just going to just going to show you instead. I would also like to say that this is my first fairy loop order that has arrived on time and with no problems. So that is definitely an improvement. I think the only thing was that the sprayed edges on one of the books changed or something, but they informed us of that and asked if that was still okay and I was fine with it. So I would count that as like a very minimal problem. And yeah, I'm just really actually impressed and thankful that this service ran smoothly as it did. So we've got some packing nuts. Let's see if I can get these out. They're all wrapped in bubble wrap. Yeah. I'm sure some of you will know what this is. <laughs> There's so much bubble wrap. Oh my god, they look so beautiful though, even through the bubble wrap. Whoa. Oh my god, this is even more bubble wrap. <laughs> they are really well packaged, to be fair. They're very protective. Okay. I'm just going to take them out the bubble wrap before I show you. So pretty. Wow. Okay, so I just realised I don't actually know what order this series is in so I apologize if I actually show it to you in the wrong order I'm gonna actually look it up and make sure I get it right for you okay so this series is one that I actually haven't read myself um, but I knew I wanted to get them I knew I wanted the read to read them and when these editions were released I was like you know what I'm just gonna treat myself to these beautiful special editions because I think I am going to love them and my lovely friend Charlotte at Booksaller Baggins on Instagram and Twitter had just read them and really really loved them I wanted to read them for a while and heard nothing but good things about them so I thought you know what I am just going to take the plunge and buy these beautiful special hardback editions while I have the chance so this is the set of Ember in the Ashes books, the Fairy Loot editions. They are so beautiful. Really, really love these. Um, so what, I'm just going to read out a little synopsis of what the first book is about, just to kind of remind myself as much as you guys. So this says it's set to be a major motion picture, which I didn't know. Um, and then it says under the martial empire, defiance is met with death. When Leah's grandparents are brutally murdered and her brother arrested for treason by the Empire, the only people she has left to turn to are the rebels. But in exchange for their help in saving her brother, they demand that Leah spy on the ruthless commandant of Blackcliff, the Empire's greatest military academy. Should she fail, it's more than her brother's freedom at stake. Now, at risk, Leah's... Leah? Leah's very life is at stake. There she meets Elias, the Academy's finest soldier, but Elias wants only to be free of the tyranny that he's been trained to enforce. He and Leah will soon realise their destinies are intertwined and that their choices will change the fate of the Empire itself. So yeah, this sounds really interesting. I do apologise if I did get the names pronounced wrong there. But yeah, so this is a four book set with Ember in the Ashes, Torch Against the Night, A Reaper at the Gates and A Sky Beyond the Storm. So I'm just going to take you through and show you the covers and stuff. So this is the first one, 
we've got this absolutely beautiful cover and then we have the back cover with some praise from other people you've got brandon sanderson on there robin hobb and the new york times so this is an adult fantasy and then beautiful sprayed edges which i think did change from the original design but i absolutely love this design this is still really really pretty and they look so beautiful together i'm just going to show you all of the sprayed edges together how beautiful is that and the colors on them are just lovely so this is the spine and then i'm just gonna oh that's so pretty so we've got these lovely end papers that are hand signed by the author and it says fairy loot exclusive on there as well really really pretty i'm just going to see if there's like a map in the front all oh, there is there's a map of blackcliff academy in the front of it and then there is a map of the empire on the next page that's really pretty i love books with maps in them so i thought i'd just check god you can tell this book's never been opened because the pages are like slightly stuck together <laughs> with the uh, sprayed edges oh my god that's so pretty Okay, this is what it looks like underneath. I hope that catches the light okay. It's such a beautiful design. So the back's like plain and then you've got this spine and then the front of it looks like that. That's really, really nice. I love the like foiling on the front as well. Like the foiling looks really, really nice. So beautiful. And then we've got a torch against the night which has this beautiful like unicorn no horse on the front of it so so pretty and then you've got blue sprayed edges so i think these all have like the same design on them but they're just in different colors so yeah they're... and then you've got the praise on the back again really really beautiful the same end papers in here and then there is a slightly different design on there and the this is a really really nice color actually for a naked heart back that's really beautiful and then the next one we have is a reaper at the gate i love this greeny color this deep like emerald color is really beautiful and then we've got this bird might be an eagle in the background there this this like gold is so intricately done it's really nice then we've got these greeny colored teal sprayed pages of turquoise i don't know what that would be and again we've got the same end papers Oh, that's so pretty. So we've got another design on here. This looks similar to the first one, actually. It's really, really nice. And again, this naked hardback has a really beautiful cover as well. And last but not least, we have a sky beyond the storm in this lovely um, um, purpley, like pink colour. I really love all of these um, animals on the front with the gold detailing, that's really nice. And this one has like pink sprayed pages and then again on the back. And then we have the end papers and the other design on this one. Again, this is a really lovely co colour for a naked heart back, absolutely love that. So yeah, they're all so, so beautiful. The only thing I didn't realise was these don't have designs on the underside of the dust jackets, but it's completely fine. I didn't necessarily expect it. I just, I just maybe thought they would be. And then it also comes with this print, which I cannot even tell you how beautiful this is right now. Because the gold on it is just amazing. The way it's catching the light is really beautiful. It's like, I've never had a print that gold. It's so pretty. I can't stop looking at it detailing on this is lovely i mean i obviously don't know who any of these people are i'm presuming these two are the main characters um but yeah i don't know who they are but they're absolutely beautiful and hopefully it will become something of um recognition as i read the stories so yeah i think that is everything that's in the box um so i'm so excited to read this series to finally have some copies of this set um this is just so so beautiful i'm really glad i got them and that they all arrived okay so i'm just going to pile them up and show you again these beautiful books together so we have four here with beautiful colored sprayed edges and i'm just going to turn them around so you can see those all together again 
absolutely beautiful colours, love this design on them as well. And they, as I said the gold foiling is just absolutely beautiful throughout all of the different covers so really really happy about that. I'm, I'm a bit disappointed that I don't know who this design is by, um, I'm presuming if you do go to Fairy Loot's Instagram or their social media there will be a thing saying that there is a card. I'm just going to double check and see whether they did put anything up on their social media because I would like to credit the artist. So I can't actually see anything on there about this artist or the cover artist which is a shame but I would still like to thank them because they are really really beautiful and I love them so much and I'm so excited to read them now. So thank you very much Fairy Loot for such a beautiful box. I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing and it was fun. I won't really be doing many unboxings because I don't actually have a subscription to Fairy Loot at the moment or any um, subscription services but I do kind of collect some special edition boxes and I have a few coming up so I'm sure you will see more videos like this when I do have these special ones so if you did enjoy this please give it a thumbs up comment down below especially if you've read this series let me know what you thought of it and if you want to read this series let me know as well uh, hopefully I'll get these to to these soon uh, if you do want to see more videos like this then please hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time with another video. Bye guys!